Good afternoon to the Drexel University College of Arts and Sciences class of 2020 and to your friends and families. It is an honor to be speaking with you today. Like all of you, the faculty and I are disappointed that we cannot gather together to celebrate your wonderful achievements. But we join you today from across the country and around the world, grateful for the chance to acknowledge and congratulate you virtually. You have often heard that you are about to enter the so-called real world, as if your hard work of the last several years wasn't real, as if the challenges you have faced over the last few months weren't real. As Drexel students, you were immersed in the real world the second you stepped on campus, through coursework and research addressing our time's most pressing issues, through co-ops and study abroad trips that hone your skills professionally and intellectually, and through community-based learning that open your minds and hearts, you have been engaging with the real world for years. And a good thing too, this real world of ours needs the experience you are bringing to it. When the coronavirus pandemic appended the country and forced a shift to remote learning for the spring term, you adapted and you persevered. When the ugliness of institutional racism sparked protests just a few weeks ago, you marched and lent your voices to the chorus of anti-racism. And when faced with troubled situations ranging from illness to inequity to climate change, you got right to work on solutions. Because of your experiences here at Drexel, and more specifically within the College of Arts and Sciences, you have received the best possible preparation to go forth and contribute in meaningful ways. Some of you will enter the workforce. Some of you are headed to graduate and professional schools. Some of you will spend time volunteering. And all of you will bring to bear on your next adventure resilience, determination, compassion, and talent. Congratulations, class of 2020. We celebrate your success and look forward with eagerness to the day we can express our joy and gratitude in person. And now a message from University President John Fry. It is a great honor for me to join this celebration for the Drexel University class of 2020. Graduates, congratulations. I hope you savor this milestone in your academic career and on your life's journey. You deserve all the accolades and more. This class has pushed the boundaries of academic and research excellence and set new standards for civic engagement. And you are resilient. That is something we knew long before the events of the past few months. Yes, you are entering a challenging world. More than ever, it is a world that needs you. It needs the many contributions you will make in your places of work and in your communities. You hold in your hands the long-term health, equity, and prosperity of our society. How you make use of the knowledge you have worked so hard to acquire will help determine our future. It has been said that the success of our society and our democracy rests upon the willingness to think of each other and not only ourselves. My hope is that you will embrace this principle that you will step up in your communities, that you will take on the solemn responsibility of leadership. Knowing this class of 2020, I have no doubt that we can look ahead with confidence and contemplate the truly exciting and deeply necessary ways in which you will contribute. All of us at Drexel look forward to hearing about your future successes in scholarship, in your professions, and as you serve others. I want you to know also that I hold you in my heart. Congratulations on your graduation and for joining the thousands of other proud Drexel alumni. Thank you, President Fry. It is now my pleasure to introduce Suravi Ray, who will address us on behalf of the class of 2020. Suravi is graduating from Drexel with a Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences with a concentration in evolution, ecology, and genomics. In her five years at Drexel, she has enacted her dual passion for nature and biology 
as an ornithology research assistant at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University. Her research on host parasite interactions and infectious diseases has been accepted for presentations as far away as Alaska and Puerto Rico. In July, she will begin her career as a research technician at Fels Institute of Cancer Research. As you're about to learn, Suravi is also a very talented writer. She's the author of the novel, When the Sun Breaks Free, and has twice been included in an anthology of Pennsylvania's best emerging poets. And now to you, Suravi. Thank you, Dean Bouchard. Right in this moment, in a brave new world, it looks like time stands still. Yet here we are, by the force of our experiences, by the power of our endless will. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, friends, and family. It is an absolute honor to be speaking with you today at the Drexel 2020 graduation. Five years ago, I was just another stranger from the other side of the planet, trying to find my way here. But here I am, talking to you, my friends and family, in a place I now call home. College, especially the last three months, has been a whirlwind of a journey for all of us, but there is no denying that it is a time we will never forget. We have grown up in this fight for a better tomorrow amidst the Drexel Petra. Today, I will share with you three little phrases that have made a huge impact on my life, and I hope that it impacts yours too. Dare to dream, force for nature, and ambition can't wait. Let's start with dare to dream. Growing up in a boarding school in India, my dreams were my stronghold in life. When I got into Drexel with a full scholarship, I did not know much about Philadelphia at all. Philly was just the setting for M. Night Shyamalan movies to me. Reality hit hard every passing year and 2020 truly shined a light on that reality. It showed us the good and the bad within humanity and taught us about resilience. I'm sure several of you here from all over the world felt uprooted this year. But then I remembered a quote by Marianne Goodright, bloom where you are planted. Despite all the challenges, the dream of contributing to the betterment of nature and humanity keeps us going. Every quarter of every year in our college lives has been filled with hard work and self-evolution. Through financial struggles and political unrest, from dealing with COVID to trying to dismantle racism, from singing in the protests to spreading smiles within our community, we dragons have done it all. We wouldn't be here today if we did not value our dreams and work hard to accomplish them. In light of the last few weeks, I am proud to belong to Drexel and to Philly. This is a place of dreamers and believers who fight for what is right. Dare to dream because no dream is ever unachievable. Force for nature. I've worked at the Academy of Natural Sciences and just last year, they put up new posters everywhere which said, be a force for nature. In a time of global climate change, resource exploitation and injustices, I cannot think of a more realistic phrase to live by. We are all forces of nature. In our own walks of life, we are relentless in everything we do. But how many of us wake up and decide to be a force for nature? Being a force for nature starts with us, our neighborhoods, our community, our people. Our fight for humanity includes our fight for protecting our planet. Being a force for nature is as simple as respecting this earth that holds us and thus respecting every other organism held by the one same earth. When we heal the rifts in our society, we can begin to be better people of our planet. This planet is all we know and all we have, and we must come together now as citizens of one home. As we move on to our futures, let us take the time to appreciate nature despite the circumstances we might be in. Last but not the least, ambition can't wait. You cannot avoid this phrase if you're in Drexel. From classes to blackboard learn to buses, ambition can't wait is everywhere. I now know for sure that this phrase has defined my journey here. I have known several of you since freshman year and Drexel has changed each and every one of us. We have grown up into our best selves over the years. 
Ambition has been the selective pressure behind our self-evolution. It is the driving force behind all great change. When I was looking up how this phrase came to be, I came across a quote that was used in the Ambition Can't Wait campaign. Ordinary students take tests. At Drexel, you will test the world. I want you to think about this as you move towards your future after graduation. These are uncertain times and the world requires true leaders. Drexel has prepared us to be that. Not only have we gained an education, but we have also gained knowledge. Thank you to all our wonderful mentors, professors, friends, and family who have made this magic possible. Without them, this would not be. I'll conclude by saying that as dragons, we are resilient. We are molded by our skills and knowledge and we dare to dream of a better world. As dragons, we fight for a better society because we represent diversity. As dragons, we are the change we want to see in the world because as dragons, we have wings. Congratulations, class of 2020, and thank you. And now, Dr. Sandy Friedlander, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Education. Thank you, Suravi, and congratulations, class of 2020. I would like to call your attention to the Student Honors and Awards page of the Celebration site. There you will find the names of those graduating with honors, departmental and college honorees, fellowship winners, members of the college's Student Advisory Board, and those graduating with a 4.0 cumulative grade point average. Congratulations! And now, Dr. Dan Miranda, Associate Dean of Research, will announce the doctoral graduates. Thank you, Dr. Friedlander. Please note that the names of this year's PhD recipients, along with their dissertation titles and the names of their dissertation committee chairs, can be found on the doctoral graduates page of the celebration site. It is now my privilege to share the names of those who elected to be named in this celebration. Dr. Kayla Lee Murphy, Biological Sciences. Dr. Marcus Gerald, Biological Sciences. Dr. Aaron Virginia Hansen, Physics. Dr. Brittany Christine Evans, Psychology. Dr. Anne Marie Raphael, Psychology. Dr. Keisha April, Psychology. Dr. Mary Godfrey, Psychology. Dr. Alexa Michelle Hayes, Psychology. And now, Dr. Michelle Delinsky, Associate Dean of Graduate Education, will announce the master's degree recipients. Thank you, Dr. Miranda. It gives me great pride to announce the names of the 2020 recipients of master's degrees. Lexi Weaver, Biological Sciences. Karen Ann Camillo, Chemistry. Tara A. Holcomb, Communication. Jade Ashley Daniels, Communication. Tone Liu, Communication. Sari Aljishi, Communication. Elisa Rosen, Communication. Robert George Hagstrom III, Communication. Monica Stephen Smith, Communication, Culture, and Media. Casey Hain, Environmental Policy. Justin Earl Duskins Gambrel, Physics. Kelsey Clark, Psychology. Shinyi Ju, Psychology. Brooke Elise Yeager, Psychology. Monica Carolina Martinez, Psychology. Dijle Ozel, Psychology. Heidi Jane Zapataki, Psychology. Zoe Heller, Publishing. Francis Carol Canup, Publishing. James D. Gall, Science, Technology, and Society. Maria Lynn Fittipaldi, Public Policy. And now back to Dr. Friedlander. Thank you. I now have the honor of reading the names of the recipients of bachelor's degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Delinsky and Dr. Miranda will join me. Claudia Espinoza, Lauren Elizabeth Israel, Angelina Alyssa Gomez, Anjali Ganguly, Akash Bhatt, Anshul Ramanathan, Ashley Elizabeth Matthew, Camille Prairie, Christina Allison Toven, Corey Freiman, Diana Ernby Kim, Fatima Medina Talebi, Gabrielle Christine Donahoe, Gianna Giordano, Jordan Lynn Armstrong, Justina Toma, Karen Kim Nguyen, Karima Kar Rai, Leila Haddad, Maria Mukanova, Nicholas Fox, Nina Cheng, Nirali Patel, Nishu Nusrat, 
Nolan Robert Fox, Pushti Sandip Shah, Rachel Miles, Ramnik Singh Gill, Ria Rahul Patel, Rushi Patel, Sean Betteridge, Shadi Mamar, Shivani Patel, Sophie Lawrence, Suravi Ray, Sweta Chengalvala, Tanya Mulakar, Teresa Pierce, Victoria Grace Koa, Visha Palmar, William Stabbett, Abinaya Bharat, Amara Kazi, Agardeep Sakar, Brianna Di Marco, Camille Mottarello, Carly Jamison Smith, also receiving a master's degree in biology, Devneet Carr Kaint, Elizabeth McCluskey, Elizabeth Meckler, Hannah Cherusherrell, Ishan J. Butt, Josh Paul Maret, also receiving a master's degree in biology, Casey Sezova, Catherine Lowe, Madeline Goldman, Mia Marie Buglivo, Mitali Shah, Natasha Reddy, Nazara Abdul Aziz, Neha Putagunta, Nicole Blatt, Parth H. Patel, Patrick Chang, Puja Deepan Patel, Priya N. Patel, Rashan Taimir Williams, Rohan Joshi, Selam Haile, Jajruj Sembli, Shreya Mukavolu, Zeal Patel, Elizabeth Cheng, Cole Riviello, Gregorio Molina III, Mary Elizabeth Fendelander, Mercedes Elise Davis, Morgan Hesser, Victoria Sokolova, Chloe Sayer, Juliana Hunt, Margaret Brogan, Natalia Bastida, Paula Lee, Prachi Gupta, Prairie Yang, William L. Bernstein, Alexandra Lauren Keach, Alexandra Naji, Alison Madar, Alison Messon, Armin Olia, also receiving a BA in English, Bahora Davranova, Christopher Sanchez Peralta, Cynthia Fox, also receiving an MS in communication, Emily Brooke Dobley, Gabriel Souple, Gabriel Teresa Tobia, Caitlin Vargas, Lauren Jessica Baumholtz, Lauren Nicole Maioli, Madeline Michelle Fortney, Miranda Leakin, Samantha Janelle Taylor, also receiving a master's degree in communication, Samuel James Green III, Shojen Song, also receiving a master's degree in communication, Tayo Cho, Adrienne Randall, Jana Plutnik, Gabriella Troiani, Keely Louise Gibson Harlow, Madison Julia Schumann, Maggie Federosco, Michael Wojciechowski, Rachel Cortese, T.J. Ulrich, Lizanne Delisa DeSena, Rachel Polito, Zoe Elisa Samuels, Haley Morgan Fletcher, Madeline Barker, Nicholas Heredia Barra, Devin Marcus Welsh, Heather Heim, Kate Marie Stone, Sarah Rohani Drapal, Aliyah Sise, Ali Ziabash Tabari, Angela Leah McKenzie, Jakob Zigar, Julia Duriski, Casey Reitnauer, Madeline Frank, 
Aishwarya Patel, Sophia Jordan, Stephanie Heim, Michael Martinez, Sarah Jolyn Worth, Sumita S. Gangwani, Emily N. Carey, William Roman, Ann Itkin, Anthony Perez, Haley Francesca Golden, Marissa Olson, Parisa Kushnud, Riva Sweedler, Tice Idi Infante, Turo Boyeri, Ariantuya Altansaya, Haley Clemson, Mei Ling Chan, Monko Monica Chiv, Nicholas Kozenkiewicz, Nicole Bedoya, Nicole Kalitsi, Tara Dunsmore, Sarah D. Pasquale, Joseph Nuanes, Jasper Kyer Himes Ignaton, Kayla Lees, Jacob Joseph, Kum Kamyar, James Frizzell, Anna Ferrariu, Maria Angela Borlin, Allison Suchadowski, Abdullah Spall, Elizabeth Eddy, Shirley Chen, Katerina Kissinger, Nilu Dia Marie, James Minock, B. Martin, Johannes Wagner, Koshea Basu, Earl James Hyatt III, Jake Richard Delano, Jonathan Thornton, Maria Gaffney Ricks, Mary Gardner, Morgan Cerro, Christopher Remington Battle, Sam Arsipreet, Allison Sakreski, Amber Capri Davis, Ashley Anion Kunju, Alyssa Wallace, Bushra Sultan, Clara May Rawlings, Dana Justine Booz, Danielle Catherine Sobieski, Isha Rampal, Isabel Kaminer, Jackie Masuda, Jamie Lynn Bessiker, Crystal Colazo de Leon, Sazia Hanif, Jenny Barone, Jessica Justchison, Kate Oliver, Luke Miller, Mara Fulmer, Milan Siena Shirelds, Nadij Umutoni Mudenj, Persia Jennings, Rachel Quinn, Radhika Patel, Ronald Spots, Sarah Jason, Shajumun Alam, Sonul Johar, Stephanie Brancato, Taya Stevens Allen, Teriana Caress Griggs, Trin Tran, Yebin Shin, Zenan Tao, Alyssa Ann Belkarin, Amanda Barrow Apostle, Andrew Tofik, Angela Navarretto, Anthony Smirnov, Ayami Tasaki, Ayana Stanton, Christina Langton, Elaine Cheng, Elizabeth Callio, Heather Linskold, Yana Tegos, Jacqueline Devlin, Jennifer Grubb, Maya Elise Showo, Nandi Kolak, Sazia Kathun Hanif, Shannon Kylie Mulligan, Isabella Sangaline, Madeline Del Vescovo. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Remember, you are forever dragons. Please stay in touch with us, return to campus when you can, 
and join your classmates in the College of Arts and Sciences and across the university in a spirit of fellowship and celebration. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for being a part of our community. I wish the best of luck to each and every one of you.